Oopsie daisies. Okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I did not realize that. Oopsies. Oopsies. Okay. So I'll go first. <laughs> oopsies, oopsies, oopsies. Okay. <laughs> we get we get a just as bad hand. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there's the Ralts. Yeah, the Norwegians only run one top lately in the puzzle like and rock deck. Okay. So I think we definitely have to go for the for the Bridget here. Now the question is, do I want to discard a Guardi or do I want to discard a Max Potion? Mm, or the Field Blower? Probably Guardian Field Blower? Uh, no, I mean, at most you end up using one max potion, so this seems enough. Thankfully, Vulpix is not priced. This is the one thing I don't like about this list. Just one Vulpix seems super, super vulnerable to pricing. It's like the advantage you get by having two Bridget means um, you like you lose out on that based off of um, uh based off of the fact that now you can have the vulpix priced and vulpix is pretty crucial um artillery is not priced which is good my opponent cannot get a turn one dunk on me so and i really doubt he, i mean if he tries to guzma that's why i'm not attaching i'm just gonna keep the energy alive so that if he ends up using guzma for some reason um we can just retreat but no he has a natural bridget which makes sense <clears throat> okay. <laughs> that kid completely threw Pablo off. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah, nice hand for sure. Nice hand. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here, for watching. Um, not Sylvian, because I do think the max potion list is better, and Sylvian just cannot fit the max potions. It can't afford to fit the max potions, I don't think. Or like, you can't afford Sylvian and max potions. You have to choose. You definitely have to choose. Okay. So, we get a Lele, which is actually not bad. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay. So, is it worth it for us? To go very candy here. Um, I think I still want to full fix. Okay, there's no point in <laughs> best card of our player in the world. Luckiest. Okay, so I'm gonna secret spring here onto the routes. Uh should I should I just retreat? It's also a pretty weak turn if I do. Uh, I'm not sure what to do here. Thing is, if he just has Guzman knocked out my Remoraid, it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. <clears throat> Tough call for sure. Tough call. <laughs> Girl, Pablo's girlfriend used Sweet Kiss. Pablo has confused now. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Okay, we get the artillery too, which is pretty cool. Um, Rare Candy Galade would just be brutal, right? There's no way we can get that. Um, I will, however, do this. And I will first Abyssal Hand for one. I don't want to play the, the Choice Band just yet. We get an energy. And sure, I'll retreat. But the thing is, now I'll just grab these two cards. And then bluff the rare candy. <laughs> bluff the rare candy. Okay. <laughs> There's a Galisapod. We might see a Guzma onto the Ralts. So yeah. Probably should have grabbed the Ralts, not the Galade. 
probably should have grabbed the Ralts and not the Gallade. There's the Grass Energy. Would Tord aggressively target my Gardevoir here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm one energy short of the knockout on that Colissa Bud. <clears throat> Maybe? Nah. Okay, there's a Lele, so we're gonna see a Kuzma for sure. We are definitely going to see a Kuzma here. Yep, there it is. Probably gonna target down the Ralts. So yeah, this was my my mistake. Yep. My mistake for not grabbing another Ralts with a Vulpix. Ugh, you guys are seeing me misplaced so much. Okay. Yeah, now like you really want the Vulpix to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six. We do not have a knockout, so do we go after Zorua? Do we pressure with Tabulele? Uh, <laughs> nah, what's bluffing? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm not gonna commit too many energy though. Okay, and I top pick the Ralts, <laughs> so I get compensated for my bad play once again. I will Secret Spring onto the Cardi, <clears throat> and my opponent still has no Zoroarks, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go ahead and end. Because if we play Guzma, sure, we take a prize, but then there's no guarantee that we will be able to to have find another Guzma for Golisabut, whereas now, if he goes for a Guzma, uh, we can Guzma the Golisabut back, if he goes for an Acerola, then fine, he cannot attack with Golisabut, he would have to attack with Zoroark. <coughs> and we would only be one energy off from getting a knockout on a clean Zoroark. And there's the Zoroark GX. Uh, yeah, it would have been better to grab a second Ralts as opposed to Remoraid. Potentially, yes. Um, potentially, yes. Um, bench space is definitely definitely weird for us right here okay yeah I mean you can't rely on top decking like yeah if I had gone for more rolls instead of the Vulpix that would have been ideal but um, you can't rely on top decks uh, when making those decisions uh, it's fine <clears throat> yeah. So Toad, 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 eh? <laughs> Toad, <laughs> Toad, really thinking things through right now. Really thinking things through. And yeah, guys. Um, I know you guys dislike the ads. If it came to a point where I had enough subscribers, um, I wouldn't need to to have the ads. Like I have some control of, over that. And wow, he just goes ahead and Sycamore, so he didn't have the DCE, he chose not to take another knockout, he's looking for the DCE to GX attack, presumably, right? <clears throat> so if we can find another fairy and we heal the damage and take a knockout, well, it seems very difficult though, definitely seems quite hard. But we're just like we're already in a better position just because we have um, artillery down. Um, what do you think will be a good option to combo with Zorak GX right now, other than Golisabud? Probably Lycanroc. Um, probably Silvali. All of those seem pretty good. Yeah, parallel would be ideal for sure. Okay, so Tord will use Crossing Cut GX. So this means we will be able to knock out the Golisabud. Because we do have the Guzma. However, I would love to be able to do it without... Um, by healing as well. I don't think that's possible though. One more energy would be... 120 damage so if if 
we can draw a fairy energy, we would actually be able to do it. So, how do I do this? Okay, I'm gonna Ultra Ball away this and this for a Curlia. Then I attach the DC to retreat and then off of the next two cards. And then I play the Kuzma as well. Yeah, I think so. Do I want to keep the Galate though? That's the question. Um, probably not. Okay, or yes. I'll get rid of the Lele and the DC now. Yeah, I think I have to get rid of these two. Oh, or the DC. Nah, not the DC. Ah, so complicated. I'm gonna get rid of these two. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a Curlia. So can I find a Fairy Energy? That is the question. So I'm gonna do... Or can I take a knockout with Tapu Lele? No. So I'm gonna draw three cards. <clears throat> if I don't get it, then I just retreat and take a knockout with the card. So three cards, we want one fairy energy, that's all we want. No, no fairy energy for us. No fairy energy for us, unfortunately. Okay. So now Tord has an easy revenge knockout with another Galizabeth. And we got rid of the Galade. And <laughs> we have all the cards that we do not want to discard in our hand. <laughs> yeah, 106 viewers. Pretty much um, <coughs> it's Tord's fault <laughs> that there's so many viewers. Um, okay, so he's gonna take a knockout with Tapu Lele. Which is actually okay for us, I feel like. Potentially okay for us. We really needed to heal. Yes, I am playing against Tord right now. Um, how could Lele have knocked out? Lele did a hundred damage. We were twenty short. Yeah, I guess I should. Strictly speaking, yes, I should have attached to the top of Lele. That's true. That is true. Okay. So now we need a revenge knockout on this Tapu Lele. Okay. Um, I don't know if Tord is in the chat. I don't think he is. Yeah, I could have knocked out, but if I got fairy energy, it would have been better to attack, to knock out with Gardevoir for sure. Would have been a lot better to knock out with Gardevoir. <clears throat> Okay, so it's going to take a lot of resources. We're going to need to find the very exact cards of Choice Band and Fairy and Gardevoir off of our next Abyssal Hand plus Sycamore. If we don't get that, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Okay. <clears throat> We didn't find the fairy the previous turn. Now we need to find one fairy and a choice band this turn. Can we do it? Can we pull this off? Hopefully we can. Um, the GX of Gardevoir would have been pretty bad in that spot, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna super it back two fairies and a vault. We still have a ton of Guardi in the deck, I think. Uh, the Ralts is not enough though. One, two, three. No, I think I do need this. Okay. So we're gonna first Abyssal Hand. And. Okay, so we got the Fairy, which is actually horrible now because we end up discarding the Fairy. And. Okay, we got it. We got there, guys. We actually got there. We actually, actually got there. So. And we have the cards to actually... 
<laughs> um, we actually have the cards to knock out Kalisa, but next turn as well. Although he will definitely end us here, which might actually not be terrible. Okay, we have a lot of dead cards though. We have a lot, a lot of dead cards. <clears throat> he cannot Guzma and Anna's at the same time. He does get rid of the choice band, which makes sense. He's only played two ends and he has the puzzles. So... <coughs> That's okay. What time is it best to do the GX attack? I mean, it's very situational, Trinity. Um, that deck applies so much pressure that it's very unlikely that you'll ever be able to use the GX attack against that deck. Um, the GX attack is usually done in the mirror matches to recycle max potions. Um, okay. So what do we expect here? We expect a grass energy on the Galisopod and an N, right? And so we will need DC and Fairy or DC and Choice Band. And we still have two Sycamore left. So... It's okay, guys. I mean, even if he was watching, there's nothing he can control. And I don't think he would be doing anything differently. So, so don't think about that too much. It's really no big deal. It's really no big deal. Okay. Super crucial turn here, though. Super, super crucial turn. Yep, there's a grass. No end means we win. So he has to end here. No end means... Yeah, there's the end. No end means we go to game 3. The end means there's a chance we don't go to game 3. And okay, that's one card that we needed to win the match. There's the first impression. Our deck is still pretty big, but we do have two Sycamore and two DCEs. So I'm just gonna go all out here. And Abyssal Hand for three, which is not great odds. And we do get a Sycamore. So I'm just, does Guzma give us a, no a knockout? No. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Sycamore here. Can we find a DCE? There we go. So, ready for game three, guys. Super, super close match. Um, Tord was very close to making a comeback. Made a couple of misplays early on, but we managed to take it to game three. So, let's go.